At this point, I believe you can now identify how computers can transform data into meaningful information. Let's now explore a bit farther. In this lesson, we will look at the different components of a computer system. But before anything else, let us define first what a system is. Can you give me an example of a system? Perhaps you say nervous system. Yes, you're right. Or you say solar system. That's also right. You may also say skeletal system, involvement system, attendance system, respiratory system, and of course, computer system. Those are all examples of a system. When we talk of a system, it is made up of components that work together to do or accomplish a particular task. So at the end of this lesson, you will see what role each component plays within the computer system. You will also get to understand the features of each component. Same goes with the other systems. Computer system is made up of components or elements that plays a vital role in the accomplishment of computing related tasks. Computer system is made up of four major components, namely hardware, software, dataware, and paperware. While hardware and software components coexist to make up the actual computer, the, pe the peopleware component adds in the human face to bring the computer into a functional and productive existence. However, when data is missing, people get nothing to use as input. That's the reason dataware exists. These components, when installed separately, each may be useful to an extent but incapable of achieving complete computing potential. Hardware and software need the human factor in order to make input and connectivity possible. The hardware components of a computer system are the electronic and mechanical parts. They help the users interface with the software and also display the result of the task being performed. Hardware can actually be of many types, depending on which functions they perform. And these will be discussed further in the succeeding sections of this course. Now let's talk about software. Software is a set of programs which helps the users to do a set of specific tasks. It helps the user interact with the computer system with the help of hardware. Software, as you can imagine, is the intangible aspect of the computer system. There are two categories of software. First, the system software. This software is consisting of the programs that control or maintain the operations of the computer and its devices. System software serves as the interface between the user, the application software, and the computer's hardware. Second, the application software. This software is consisting of programs designed to make users more productive and or assist them with personal tasks. A widely used type of application software related to communications is a web browser which allows users with an internet connections to access and view web pages or access programs. Other popular application software includes word processing software, spreadsheet software, database software, and presentation software. Now let us go back to system software. There are two types of system software, the operating system and utility programs. The operating system is a set of programs that coordinates all the activities among computer hardware devices. It provides a means for users to communicate with the computer and other software. Many of today's computers use Microsoft's Windows 7 or 10, or Mac OS, Apple's operating system. While a utility program allows a user to perform maintenance type tasks, usually related to managing a computer, its devices, or its programs. For example, you can use a utility program such as an antivirus software to detect and delete computer viruses and other malicious software from damaging your computer. But how does software be used? Does it need people or individual? 
Yes, it is. The people interacting with the computer system are also an element of it. We often call this element the live wire. They are the ultimate users of the computer systems. However, there are three types of people that interact with the system. First, programmers. These are professionals who write the programs or computer programs that allow users to interact with the computer. They must have technical knowledge of computers and computer languages. Second, system analysts. They mainly design data processing systems and solve problems that arise in data processing. Third, end users, or also known as operators. They are the people who interact with a computer system. I discussed in the previous lesson that data is essentially the raw facts and figures that we input in the computer. The data gets processed via the computer system and becomes information. In addition, information or digital information is often measured in terms of bit, bytes, kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, etc. A bit is a binary digit, the smallest increment of data in a computer. A bit can hold only one of two values, 0 or 1. 8 bits is equal to 1 byte. 1 kilobyte is approximately 1000 bytes. 1 megabyte is approximately 1 million bytes. And finally, 1 gigabyte is approximately 1 billion bytes. An in-depth explanation about data measurement and representation will be discussed in the succeeding sessions of this course. This time, you can now describe in your own the rule of each component within the computer system and you have now understood the features of each components. In the next lesson, we will talk about advantages and disadvantages of a computer.